Good morning. Looking a little dark in here. Gotta get some light. I'm running a bit late this morning. So I'm hoping you can hear me. I was told last week the last one that I did was um, it was a bit wonky on the voice. So <clears throat> got the fireplace running, the fans going. Let's see if we can find some quietness here without making a mess. Gosh, knocking all kinds of things over. How are you today? Let's see here. Can we get some more light? I don't know if it's too much bright behind me and that's what's causing the darkness, but we're going to lean into it and see how we can do this. Thank you for joining me. It is February 14th. It's Valentine's Day. How are you today and who do you get to be for the ones that you love? It is, uh, got home late last night. We had a three hour delay on our plane back from Texas. Uh, it, <laughs> yeah, it happened and we went with it and we rolled with it and it was all good. It was all good. So what are you doing today for Valentine's Day for those of you that celebrate? For those of you that you everybody has someone in their life that they love hopefully you love yourself so when you think of what you would desire on Valentine's Day and what you would like to create on Valentine's Day with the persons person persons who you love the most in your life who would that be and what would you choose to do for them what is it that you would create that would give, would, would let them know without the words, because sometimes we say the word, I love you. We throw it around there so easily and it's just like people that you meet, you know, and I've said this before, people that you meet and they're like, oh, love you. And I'm like, you don't know me that well. And yet, would Jesus have said to every person he met, I love you. See, love is not as much about words as it is about actions and who we are in the everyday. So I'm going to keep this super duper short today. You know, it says, <clears throat> love is the greatest of all things. It's our greatest command. Jesus says that a couple times in the New Testament. It is our greatest command to go and love one another as Christ loved you. You love in your your spouse that way today you're loving your children that way you're loving yourself that way you're loving your neighbor your co-worker love also covers a multitude of sins so and that means <clears throat> when we truly love someone and we get to love all people even when they do something that's hurtful do you reach out and love them anyway can you overlook the comment, the harsh words, the maybe they didn't do something the way that you would have wanted them to do it? How do you overlook that to love them? See, love isn't conditional. Love is that unconditional, <clears throat> I'm going to love you regardless because that's how God loves us. He loves us regardless of all of the things that we do and all the things that we think. That's the kind of love that we get to love on, on others with. So who are you loving? How are you loving? Are you being love? Are you a loving person? You know, without love, there isn't hope. And sometimes when we feel like we don't have enough love to give, we get to go ask God for that. So if you have someone in mind, maybe that you want to shift the relationship, I invite you to go show them how much you love them. You know, when my kids would do that when they were little and they would do something that maybe wasn't kind to one another, 
I would, <clears throat> their discipline around that was to go be the servant of the other person. And so I'm going to invite you because love is service. I'm going to invite you to love on somebody today through acts of service. Go do something kind. Go bring something to them that's unexpected. Give them a word of encouragement that's unexpected. What could Valentine's Day look like for you? Because it isn't about the romance. You know those butterflies that we get when we first meet somebody? Usually about, you know, anywhere from 14 to 18 months. That feeling goes away. It's literally a chemical response. It's that chemical response. So I think we spend so much time looking for that chemical response about love that we overlook, good morning Zambemo, that we overlook the fact that love is so much more than that. So those romantic thoughts that we have about Valentine's Day, yes, they're nice. And true love, true love, unconditional, agape love, it says in the Bible, endures forever. So if you're looking, for those of you that are married, if you're, and, and this is an invitation for those of you that are dating, lose the expectations and look at how you can love the other. So think about Ephesians in 5, it talks about the relationship between a husband and a wife. And women get so caught up on this word submit, but it says wives submit to your husbands. And that means support them, be next to them. We're not beneath them. We were made out of, Eve was made out of Adam's rib. She was made out of his side. And so they're there to be in partnership together, not one above the other, but in true partnership. And when you're truly in a partnership with someone you love, then you're willing to do anything for them. So for wives, it's submitting. And I have some other thoughts about that, but I'll talk about that another day. And what submit doesn't mean lower yourself, although Jesus lowered himself. Jesus did lower themselves, but submit in the way a wife loves a husband is, it means I'm willing to do anything for you. I'm willing to meet your needs. I'm willing to, you know, and it could be that you're the wife that works and your husband stays home. That happens a lot these days. But where's the balance in loving in a way that's submissive that lets them know that you respect them? There's a devotional for women, men and women, and for husbands and wives called Love and Respect. And it's the love she needs and the respect he deserves. So I think we've gotten our world says, you know, women have to be strong, we have to be powerful, we have to do all of these things. And then we forget that the men in our lives get to be respected for their role in our lives. See, the world tells us how to live a life that's unbalanced and not necessarily loving and me first. And where does that get us? Over 50%, over 50% over of married couples are divorced. Because we are listening to what the world says versus if you just go back to Ephesians 5. Wives, submit your husband to your husbands. And husbands, love your, your wife the way Christ loved the church. Guess what? Christ died for the church. Christ sacrificed his own life because that's how much he loved us. So husbands, I challenge you today. That is how much you get to love your wives. And I invite you to, if you're not in the habit of doing this, as a married couple, spend some time in prayer together. Spend some time reading God's word together because that will truly, truly strengthen. And it's something that I get to practice. It's not something that I do every day with my husband. But how do you, men, get to love your wives as Christ loved the church? And how do you, women, get to love your husbands through submission? Starts with, starts with asking God to love them through you. 
go to God because you can't love them the way God loves them if you're not tapped into who God is. And then go do something lovely today for your spouse. And I don't know if the rest of the world's in Bamo, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? If the rest of the world does, I think it's very much an American holiday. But again, what if we took it around the world to another level? And let Valentine's Day be the greatest love of all that has nothing to do with romance, but has everything to do with loving one another the way that God loves us. That is my invitation to you today. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you, God, that you are a God of love. That you, God, are the God that sets the example. That you show us what unconditional God love is because you love us every day despite ourselves. Lord, I pray that you pour into me, pour into those watching. Fill them up with your love, Lord, so that they are overflowing to love those around them. I especially pray, Lord, for marriages today. For husbands and wives who struggle to understand what true love is, what enduring love is, what submissive and sacrificing love is. Lord, forgive us for not loving one another the way that you love us. And show us, Lord, through your spirit, how to love one another the way that you love us. We thank you, Lord, again for your enduring love, the greatest love of all, that sacrificial submissive love that we get to give one another every single day. Protect our marriages, Lord. Protect our marriages, especially those in the church. Let us be a stand for your love. You wrote in it, there's an entire book in the Bible about love between a man and a woman. Lord, let us honor you with our thoughts and our words and our bodies and in our relationship with one another, with our husbands or wives. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your covering. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that you have a very beautiful Valentine's Day and know that God wants you to love. He wants you to, to know love and be love in the world. So I'm speaking specifically today to husbands and wives or those about to get married. How do you show God's love to the one you love? Let me know how you did it, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a blessed day. And if you know somebody that's looking to, looking to up their marriage, invite them to listen to this. Invite them to listen to this and know that we are the ones who get to be the light in the world when it comes to marriages. But maybe somebody's struggling with their marriage and could use a little hope today, a little love today. Please share this with them. And I thank you for always being here and for sharing this out so that we can impact the world together. And Zambemo, yes, okay, great. You gave a surprise gift to your wife this morning. That is awesome. Zambemo, my, my experience of you is that you are truly a God-giving, loving man. So. I honor and respect you and have a very beautiful day and I will see you back here tomorrow.